How's it going guys, David here. I'm gonna be talking a little bit about automation in this video. Um, it's gonna be a, a really short video right now. I'm gonna be doing more videos um, on this type of stuff moving forward uh, because it's really important to me and I think a lot of you guys out there will find this information valuable uh, just because the technology is available. So um, it's really important that if you wanna grow your business, you try new things obviously. Um, and what better time than right now with everything that's going on if you're stuck at home um, maybe you did lose your job and need to figure out something else to do well marketing online is a really lucrative way to uh, you know earn an income even though there's a lot of bad marketers out there that give it a bad name it really is uh, it really has changed my personal life but anyway jumping into automation just really quick here uh, this is a program that I'm using called Ubot, and this is a software that allows you to basically um, automate anything that you can do in your browser online on your computer um, you can automate tasks on your actual computer itself this only does work for Windows though so um, I do have a version of Windows installed here on my Mac I think it's called boot camp um, so it's just a partition of the hard drive that I have Windows on um, and I do that just because I have a lot of uh, some other marketing programs that I use that are only available for Windows so uh, but anyway diving back into this uh, this is called Ubot. so this is a program that allows you to write software and automation uh, programs that you can compile um, you can sell them you can use them for yourself your own marketing your own tasks whatever that is um, you can automate like I said pretty much anything you can do inside of a browser um, and there's some different levels of this of this uh, program so one of the reasons I wanted to show this to you guys right now is because they're offering a $27 community edition, which will allow you to do pretty much everything in the browser for automation. You know, you could go out there and do some affiliate marketing, share posts, uh, scrape data, scrape emails, um, you know, whatever you want to do. The community edition is a really great way to start. And then you can move up from there if you decide to. And it's... Uh, um, you, once you have the software, it's yours. You just have to pay for the upgrades and stuff like that if you want to move to a different level. So um, the way this works is it's really drag and drop. So if you do not have any experience with coding, um, you can use this. Um, and there's a really good community out there uh, because this program has been around several years. And so there are a lot of marketers out there that um, have built communities, um, developers that have good communities out there on Facebook and different forums and stuff like that, that you can get help with if you're trying to build something and need help. And this has really been beneficial um, in my business just because I'm able to automate certain things that take time that are tedious and they allow me to focus on other things. So uh, basically what we could do, so for example, I'm just going to move over to like Yahoo Dot com here and you'll see this is like a built-in browser um, so the cool thing here is you can look at all these commands over here on the left side um, so with this version I have the standard edition um, and with that version you get the bot bank so uh, this is just other stuff that people have created um, so you know you can use these bots uh, you can just drag drag them in here um, and go ahead and use those but I'm gonna go ahead and build my own today so we're just going to do a simple, um, a simple automation, like going to a website, uh, searching, and then clicking. So, for example, I could, um, I like to start with a loop, so I can use this search up here in the top, and we'll just put a loop inside here, um, and you'll understand this in a minute. So just kind of follow along. So we only want this to loop once. And you can have this loop as many times as you want. Now I'm going to bring this navigate function in here. And I'm going to want it to go to Google. And then if we drop down advanced, we can just wait for the page to load. So we'll go ahead and do that. And now we'll wait for it. And then we want to go ahead and run it. So if I go ahead and click run, it's going to go ahead and do everything that we've programmed it to do up until, you know, where we ended. So, for example, um, if I wanted to type text right inside here, I could just drag this over um, for the next command. So, But you could also drag elements off the page. So if I was to go ahead and grab this, and I could just drag it over right into here, um, it knows the element. Um, so basically, this is the section of the code um, so that the software knows exactly where to type the text. Um, and then we could put text to type in here. Um, 
So we'll just type in uh, news for today. Um, and then if we go ahead and run it again, you'll notice that it'll go ahead and, and type that in. Uh, but now we need to hit enter. So what we can do next is we could go ahead and drag this click in. Um, we'll go ahead and show you how to do that. So if I drag click over here, you can use these brackets right here. And then I could go ahead and select whatever I want it to click on. So you know I could click that, uh, for example. Um, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to show you another trick. Um, I could just copy this and go ahead and paste it. And then instead of typing this in here, I'll just put in this uh, command inside of these brackets. And this is uh, a command for the enter key. So now if I run it, it's going to go ahead and type that and then hit enter. So now we have a, a little automation that goes ahead and heads to Google and then types in news for today and then hits enter. So now what we could do is if we wanted to click on something, uh, we could bring our clicker down and use this function to click on something. So I could choose, let's just choose CNN.com. Instead of the actual story, I could just choose uh, uh, you know CNN.com or any of these stories. Um, I could choose a tab to go to. So maybe I wanted to click on news. Um, but we're just gonna, you know, and then it would go to the news tab and then I could click on something there. But for this example, we're just gonna go ahead and click on CNN and click OK. And then we'll just go ahead and maybe back out to Yahoo again. And now we'll go ahead and run this program. So now it's brought us to CNN. Um, and the cool thing about this program, I'm going to kind of end it right here. You can kind of get the gist of it. Uh, but what I could actually do also is um, you can actually record. So if I was to start recording, it's just going to go ahead and start clicking on things. Um, so you'll notice it brings these commands over here as I click. Um, so I could go ahead and edit this while I am recording. So I could sit here and, and do a process that I wanted to automate, and then I could go ahead and stop recording, and then I'd have that automated. Um, there are some tweaking that you have, some things you have to tweak if you do that sometimes, depending on the, the processes that you're doing. Uh, but other than that, this program works really well. Go ahead and check it out in the link below. They are having that $27 Community Edition sale. Um, so go ahead and check out that. I'm not sure how long that's lasting. $27 gets you access to um, a lot of functions here. And I believe there's some uh, good support and forum access as well with that. Um, but once the program's yours, it's yours. You don't have to pay anything else. If you don't want to, you can continue using that or you can upgrade like I did. Um, and it goes all the way up to the developer edition. Um, so you could compile software and actually sell it. And so this is just one one demo I sh I'm going to show you right now. This is just one little uh, piece of software that I put together just as a demo, uh, kind of testing some features out. So it's going to, uh, so if I click run on it, it's going to take me to YouTube. So it's going to ask me if I want to head to YouTube and it's going to ask me if uh, for a keyword, for example, and I'll just go ahead and type in David J. Woodbury and then we'll click OK. And it's going to go ahead and search up and click on the top channel for that keyword. Um, so if I go ahead and click confirm, click yes, and then it will go ahead and hopefully take me to my YouTube channel here. Um, so you can see it goes ahead and, and clicks on the top channel. So I could go ahead and run this bot, you know, and type in anything. You know, I could type in um, we'll type in Ty Lopez, for example in this one and it's going to go ahead and ask me if I want to confirm and this is just a demo guys so this is obviously not something that is uh, super uh, super great program obviously it's just a demo but I wanted to show you kind of what's what's available um, and there are 
hundreds of thousands of different options available as far as bots that you can build out there. Uh, I've automated a lot of my affiliate marketing tasks, um, scraping data, scraping new information, keywords and all that type of stuff. So uh, if you're interested in this, go ahead and um, check it out in the link below. I really appreciate that. And go ahead and, and leave a comment. If you have a question, get a hold of me. Um, and like I said, I'll be doing some more of these videos if you like this automation stuff. So um, stay tuned for that. Um, anyway, take care guys. Have a great day. Be safe out there. And we'll see you in the next one. Go ahead and subscribe if you have not yet. Give me a like. We'll see you later. Bye.